actually, I don't even need to do that anymore. That's case in point. So here's the deal. Uh, I started a uh, Twitch channel and I became affiliated in six days and <clears throat> I needed to share how to do that. So this is case in point. Uh, <clears throat> in several ways, actually. My One of my goals today was to make stuff on all of the platforms that I could, like TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, uh, you know what I mean, all the all the platforms. So, uh, and I thought I would share uh, how I made affiliate in seven days, plus kind of what I'm gonna be doing and, and why I'm gonna be doing it. Basically, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. I'm just uh, trying to get something on YouTube today, and I think this could help people because apparently it's not very common to become affiliated in seven days, and that's what I did. Uh, I'm actually not really affiliated because I'm waiting for them to do the paperwork for the tax thing. But, so uh, here's the deal. I wanted to share uh, what I could. So um, basically, I think the biggest deal is uh, it's not even about picking the right game because I didn't pick the right game. I, uh, I just picked a game that was super duper uh, important to me. And there happens to be an awesome badass game if you haven't seen it. Uh, you should come check it out if you can get over the fact that the graphics aren't that great. It is the best game that's ever existed. Ultima Online. UO, uh, but the specific one you should do is UO Outlands. Uh, it's killer. Come check it out. But, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I don't even know how much I'm gonna edit this or not edit it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't even know. But, uh, so that game uh, doesn't really matter. It, it does matter, of course, but my point is that you should pick something that is important to you uh, or, um, you know, or a mixture of that plus uh, what all the other big successful streamers tell you to do, which is find something like a certain way down the list or, you know, just be a mixture between uh, all the shit that they're saying and you and what you really, really fucking like. Uh, and that's genuinely going to be exciting to you so that you can share that with your uh, potential viewers, you know? Um, and so, number one I wrote down uh, is take action. And the reason I'm saying that is because I feel like that is, I'm a dance instructor. Uh, my real job is I teach uh, ballroom dancing, Latin dancing, uh, swing, and hip hop dancing. Um, that's what I do for a living. And uh, I that's my real passions, you know, so I got, you know, speaking of working in your passions, that's already what I do, and uh, it's because I took action. Test that. Switching it up, you know, I gotta do tests and figure this shit out, because I just got this thing. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, and I'm okay with that, and I feel like you should be too. So, uh, take action and don't be afraid to make mistakes. I could have uh, very easily not made this video because I just woke up and I just got all this shit. Like this right here, this is a bowl of ice cream. You know what I mean? I'm sitting here eating ice cream. I haven't even, you know, gotten myself put together yet, and I don't care because that's kind of part of my my brand, which is I don't, you know, I'm trying to do this in a certain way, which is I'm just having fun. This really is my life, and uh, you know, that's that's just part of the deal. And so. I want to share it with you and I'm looking for just cool chill people that really like improving themselves and in just all the ways not just streaming but or playing this game that I'm playing or whatever uh, Ultima Online is dope you should check it out you owe Outlands Ultima Online Outlands check it out it's the shit uh, but anyway take action and be afraid or don't be afraid to make mistakes be afraid. one after another just keep doing little things don't feel like you need to do them perfectly what you what you need to do is do them quickly and get them done get them done okay just get them done and keep going all right it's you're gonna make a billion mistakes so just accept that and keep going uh, take action take notes all the time just keep writing down stuff that you find encouraging or or you think is funny or cool or neat or anything take the note okay when you think of an idea write that down okay don't just think you'll remember it because you won't all right get in the habit of just writing things down all the time uh, I actually didn't write this down, but I'm doing it now um, in a couple ways. And that is gesticulate, you know, use your hands, all right? Use your hands, use your arms, use your movements, use your face, you know? Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. You can look stupid like this, it's okay. Uh, and you don't, you know, 
I'm not saying that you have to be funny. I'm saying, and I'm not even saying that you will be funny. I'm saying what's cool, in my opinion, is what's authentic. And I think, especially my, the people that I'm looking for are going to also think that, okay? I think that's most people. I think everybody likes authenticity. But uh, yeah, so if you're not afraid to make little mistakes, I think people will really appreciate that because it's authentic, you know? And you certainly don't want to let this be the thing that slows you down, all right? And it will all the time because you'll be able to, yeah, let's not focus on the negative, but you, you could look at it and think you're doing a lot of good things and you are, but you could be doing them slightly better. And that's all, oftentimes all you need to do is just improve slightly and consistently. And then it's just a matter of time. It's not, uh, uh, it's not even an if, it's a when, all right? But yeah, gesticulating and moving and talking, you know, be expressive and, and uh, yeah. So <clears throat> another thing that's on that level that I uh, learned from somebody else, I can't remember who it was, but I've probably like Charisma on Command or something like that, really cool channel on YouTube, uh, is this is actually good, but around here up by your chest, if you gestic if you move around out here like this when you're talking, that's the passion plane. If you want to be a, a more like a th authority, you know, if it's something that you know what you're talking about, you, people have a tendency to keep their hands down here on this plane down here. So if you're trying to just be kind of more relaxed and uh, informative, and uh, this is this is down here, it's good. Uh, but up here, and you're moving around up there, uh, that's that's the passion plane. And so what I would imagine uh, that that's you know helpful. So the other thing is. Uh, but yeah, I had to start with take action, man. That's number one. Take notes, keep moving, make mistakes. Okay, I already got all that. Da, da, da. The abundance mindset. Again, yeah, they all kind of are the same thing because the abundance mindset is basically like, oh man, you know, that girl over there, I, I'm i going to ask her and I, uh, if she tells me that, you know, she likes me, that's going to be great. But if she rejects me, that's going to hurt. That's going to kill me because... Uh, you know, this was one of the few people that I really trusted enough to try to like let my walls down enough around and they rejected me and now that's just the, the awful thing, you know, and it is, it hurts, but you got to understand that if you just try more and you take and you allow more chaos into your life, really, that's what it is, just allow chaos, allow for uncertainty, uh, you'll find that that discomfort does in fact lower, especially when it's replaced by the legitimate confidence that you will gain by having the experiences that you've had along the way and you know using the very salient lessons that you've learned by doing not understanding first doing first doing first understanding later not understanding so that you can then do or attempt to do scrap that and go with do no matter what do no matter what allow for the discomfort to be part of the game all right that's just the way it's going to be it's going to be uncomfortable so fine do it find some level of discomfort that you can tolerate and then do that thing and make no excuses and we'll come back to that here in a second actually yeah that's actually perfect right now which is make good use of your time and don't make excuses make good use of your time don't make excuses what i mean is uh, the reason I'm filming this right now is because my internet died, okay? I could have sat in here and been like, why is my internet dying, which I will eventually get to, but I made a goal and so I had to use uh, something else to get that goal achieved. And uh, this, so I just chose another part of that overarching goal and here we are. Uh, so uh, yeah, use good use of your time. This is something that I could have done uh, and the thing that I was doing at the time on the internet, I could not, so I just, boom, switched it immediately. And now, next thing on the list is stalling. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I can't read my own fucking handwriting. Oh yeah, this one's good. I, see, this is something I feel like I simply did not have any trouble with. I didn't really even realize how, you know, I suck at parallel parking now, I think. But uh, when I started, I, w I used to be really good at parallel parking because I didn't know it was difficult. I just, someone told me how to do it, so I did it. And then uh, later I found out apparently it was difficult and then I had trouble later. I used to be able to parallel park perfectly. Dude, getting to a couple viewers is easy because if you get one viewer 
All right, Every, I, I, I guess that's hard for people because um, they're thinking, I've only got one viewer. Dude, this one viewer, that's good. This one or two or three or four or five viewers, these or 15 viewers, these small amount of viewers, that's good. That's what you want, okay? You have to realize that. You do not need to focus on lots and lots of viewers because you are in the, if you're like me, you are in the infancy of your stages. Don't even concern yourself with how to get a million viewers. If you've got one or two, be fucking excited. Recognize that that's a big deal and that these people are watching you. And take this opportunity to grab these people in some way, even if it's just looking at their name. And so you can make a mental note so that if they come back, you can be like, hey, this person actually visited me twice. You know, I'm asking, I'm saying do way more than that. Do way more than that. Get to know these people. <laughs> Dude and recognize that they're very, very probably likely, very much like you, and would like to meet someone that is cool. You're looking to meet cool people in your life, right? So am I, so is everybody else, all right? So fucking be cool, man. Whoa, bro. what's up? Chill, That's, chill, bro. You chill. Know, you don't have to be crazy like me, I'm crazy. But what I'm saying is, be nice, engage these people. If they show up, say what's up, or say hi, or ask them a question of some kind and then extrapolate from that. You know, I shouldn't have to tell you that sort of thing. Get to know people, period. Get to know people, that's it. Involve yourself with them. Again, being vulnerable, sharing things about yourself, sharing things with them. Be real, and people like that, that's it. Uh, one viewer is dope, so uh, enjoy. You know, enjoying learning, this is another thing. If you enjoy learning, you can make no mistakes. Really recognize that when you're failing, that's when you're actually doing, you know, the, the real deal. That's when you're doing God's work, is when you're failing. If you're not failing, then you're not taking the right sort of chances, okay? You're, you, you could be doing well, but if you're not failing in some way, you're not taking the right fucking actions, okay? You need to be failing so that you can be, you know, grow, growing, you know, so that you can be on the uh, up and up, all right? So, enjoy learning, blah, blah, blah. That makes everything a little bit more enjoyable. You reframe it in your head. It's like, okay, I'm actually learning here. I can't make, this is good use of my time. I already did the good use of your time. Don't make excuses. I think we're almost done here. Um, the small goals, man. This was really the big thing that was the actual thing that I really did uh, that I know was res res directly responsible with the success of me having uh, the uh, over 50 viewers. I set up a small goal, a small goal, it was one follower. I, just, I was like, I set out to get one single follower, that's it. And I got it like that day, so I got lucky, all right, boom. Actually, I got it that, you know, after like two hours or something. Uh, and that's another thing, I streamed a lot. I gotta mention this because I didn't write it down, I have the other thing written down. Uh, I streamed a lot. I didn't even know what I was gonna stream. I streamed everything, okay? For the one time, dude, I streamed, within the first six days, I streamed me cleaning my room, all right? I had a nasty ass, embarrassing freaking room uh, that connects to the room that I uh, spend most of my time in, and I would be so embarrassed if someone in my real life came in and saw this thing, and I didn't care. I streamed it, and I actually got a viewer, and it tends, it's, it turns out that viewer, I believe, it came from, still also plays this game, anyway, it's cool. Just stream anything, okay? Just take chances. That, that was just me being willing to take a chance and be like, I wonder if people would be interested in seeing me clean the crap out of this room, you know? Because I really spent like five hours cleaning it, and so it was a big difference, you see? And so anyway, uh, I just streamed a lot, you know, I don't even care. Just get going, just get going, all right? In any capacity. And, uh, but anyway, so the small goals thing, big deal. This is a big deal. So I made that one goal and then I got it. So like, I, I got it and then I immediately made another goal, one more, okay? Then I got that too, pretty quick. So I was like, shit, uh, let's go for three. Let's go for three, okay? I got one, bang, I'm feeling good. Turns out, my buddy brought his pals, okay? And they were the ones that did those first goals. So, uh, but the fact that I made them is a huge importance because I said I was not going to quit until I got 
those three freaking followers. And I stuck to that, okay? I said at first I would be willing to stay up till 10 in the morning, okay? It was like two o'clock in the morning at that time. I didn't get any followers for the next four hours of streaming, okay? Nothing, okay? And I was reaching desperation levels. And I did not fucking give up on that goal. I stayed streaming, okay? My stream even died, all right? At like 9.30. No, 8.30. I got back on at 9.40 or so and I had some little bit of time left. I was like, should I just give up now? No. I'm going till 10. So anyway, by the time I get to 10, I have three people in the room. I now have three viewers. I'm like, what? And then another, I'm like, I can't quit at 10. It is really late for me. I've been up like 24 hours or some crazy shit like that. Just maybe not 24, maybe like just a long time. I was tired, that's all I'm saying, real tired. I stayed up even more because by the time that was done, at one point, I had like 25 people in that room and uh, by the end of the day, I had, uh, you know, a couple more hours went by. I stayed up. I did like a drawing of some kind for the game that I was playing, which I didn't plan that shit, you know? I was just like, dude, this is enough people to do something special. So I figured something out right then and there, just off the, pulled it right out of my ass. Really, do, just be willing to do that. And it was great. It was received well. People were like, oh shit, this thing is happening. Let's do this. <coughs> generated buzz and chatter and excitement yada 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 and for me and for them and boom 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 I was getting to know more people making actual more connections being like hey you hey you hey you talking to people remembering I'm not saying you have to remember all of them you know but if somebody's cool I would advise writing their name down because if if they did something cool then you want to remember that because that's that's cool but you can get hot, caught up in the hustle and bustle when you do get that moment you know and so uh, or at least I would think you know I'm a dance instructor so I uh, I know what it's like to be like under pressure, under uh, scrutiny, you know, I'm on stage and stuff, that sort of thing with, you know, several hundred people looking at you. It's, it, it's intense. And that's really where it comes down to a lot of times, it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how good you are if you can't perform under pressure. And uh, a lot of people just are really fucking good, but they're not willing to feel the pain that goes with being vulnerable, or at least at the beginning. And so they just don't do it. The only way you get vulnerable to that is to just do, 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 do. Don't try to understand it in a way that's gonna make it less painful. Just fucking accept it's painful and go, okay? A little bit, not super painful, then you're doing too much, okay? Just be real and get little bits of improvement. That's huge, that's all. So I gotta shut up, I gotta get this done. Small goals, boom. But yeah, because I stuck to that small goal of two, I ended up getting like over 22, okay? I got like, I think 25 and that was huge. And so then, then people knew who I was when it came to that game. The players of this game, boom, like all of a sudden they knew who I was, you know? Because, uh, yeah, I just, of that small goal and of my excitement because I did love the game and I grabbed the viewers. Uh, I didn't plan to do these things out. These things are kind of useful to me. To, I'm just trying to, as a, the teacher in me is trying to grab the most important po points, which was basically, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, make sure that you're doing a healthy mixture of all the advice that you get from your research uh, and you. Make sure it's still you, okay? The authentic you is the people, or excuse me, the authentic you is the you that people will like the most. Even though it doesn't seem like that, that is it. Twitch.tv slash mshiz, S-H-I-Z-Z. Thanks, guys. Bye.